All right, welcome back, guys. So in this problem, we need to determine the x, y, and nt components of the 65 kilonewton force acting on the simply supported beam. So we can see there are x and y axis in here, and nt are already on the figure. So I'm just gonna draw the x and y axis uh, at point C, then we can see it better. All right, so I showed our x and y axis in blue on the figure. So uh, we know that the beam is making 15 degrees with the horizontal which means this angle right here is 15 degrees as well and uh, what we need to figure out let's go with the nt component so we have our force f if we want to show it on the nt axis which is this one so this will be our fn which is a negative component and this will be our ft which is also negative because they are both in the opposite direction of our n and t axis so let's start with the first one so if you want to show if you want to find the ft component and fn component so we know this angle right here is 40 degrees from the question so our ft as i said it will be negative and it will be f times cosine of 40 degrees since we are so if we look at the triangle this triangle in here so we have a right triangle and our ft will be this side and it will be f times cosine of 40 degrees and this is uh, also coming from if you want to find the cosine of 40 degrees we will have adjacent which is the ft divided by hypotenuse which is our f uh, so let's find our ft then we know that the force f is 65 kilonewton and if we find the cosine of 40 degrees, we'll get uh, minus 49.8 kilonewton. And if we want to find the n component, fn, we will have again a negative fn times. This time we'll have sine of 40 degrees. And here our fn will be minus 65 times sine of 40 degrees. And that would be minus 41.8. A kilonewton. So that was our NT components. If we want to find the X and Y component, we know this will be our X axis and this is our Y axis. And we know this angle is 40 degrees. And since N and T are perpendicular to each other, this angle will be 90 degrees. And if this side is 40 degrees, this angle over here will be 50 degrees and we know this part is 15 degrees and all we get at the end if we want to show our f so we have this as as our x-axis this will be our y and this is our f and we figure out this angle from here which was 50 plus if we call this angle alpha alpha will be 50 degrees plus 15 degrees so 65 degrees and that's easy enough to find the x and y component and this will be our fx which is a negative value and we have fy which is also a negative value so let's find the fx we will have negative f times uh, cosine of alpha so it will be minus 65 times cosine of 65 degrees and this will give us minus 27.5 kilonewton that's the fx part and it's easy enough to find the y component again since it's in the opposite direction of y will be negative so minus f times this time we'll have sine of alpha which is 65 degrees and that's going to be minus 58.9 kilonewton and that would be the final answer for this question uh, please let me know if you have any questions uh, from the three textbooks that we are covering in this channel and I'd be happy to solve the question. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next one.